Ministry of Health that now insists Sputnik vaccine is not any better than the AstraZeneca vaccine. Zainab Muhammad with the details. After disputing the presence of a second vaccine in the country for quite some time, the Ministry of Health has now announced that the sale and distribution of the Russian manufactured COVID-19 vaccine will officially begin next week. Indeed, we have this vaccine available in the country. Number two, the vaccine has received emergency use authorization by PPB. Number three, we have been able to engage the distributors to identify the facilities that will be able to offer this vaccine. According to the ministry, a list of the hospitals administering the vaccine will be released with those offering the Sputnik vaccine being barred from offering the AstraZeneca vaccine. If a facility is dealing with private sector vaccines, it will not be issued with the free public health sector vaccines. So there will be no dual uh, because there will be a conflict there. So you will choose either you support government e efforts to give the, uh, the no-cost vaccine or you go into the business that you know best. However, the ministry insists no vaccine is better than the other. Something that we all understand, not just for Sputnik, not just for AstraZeneca, not just for Moderna or Pfizer or J&J, &J, but to date there has been no scientific study that has compared Sputnik versus Astra versus Pfizer versus Moderna. And so the numbers that we've been sharing with you when it comes to efficacy are numbers that have come about from independent studies that have been carried in the different regions or geographies where the trials have been done. But as it stands today, no vaccine has been compared against another. And so even as we stand here today, we cannot tell you that Sputnik is better than Astra or any other way around. On reports online of Kenyans who have received the Sputnik vaccine, the Ministry of Health says it has already summoned the distributors on the matter, warning that should such marketing messages progress, the emergency use approval may be revoked. This morning, uh, the task force met and the pharmacy board which sits there informed us that they have already summoned the distributors of this particular vaccine and they have actually given them a warning in writing. And if that kind of marketing continues, there will be in contravention of the pharmacy board rules and therefore that vaccine, uh, the emergency use authorization can be withdrawn. Among other vaccines being reviewed for approval in the country include Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer and Moderna. This even as Wajia is declared the county with the least number of COVID-19 cases since the pandemic began. In the last 24 hours, Kenya has recorded a total of 1,412 cases and 6 deaths. Zainab Mohamed, TV47.